Hey there, it's Coach Yvonne here, and I've got a question from someone based on something I tweeted. Let me read the tweet. It says, better to wait on God to send you a mate than hook up with the wrong person. God is the ultimate matchmaker. And so the question says, uh, dear Coach Yvonne, I'm a single Christian woman, and I want to meet someone, and I am thinking about signing up for internet dating. However, if the man is supposed to find the woman, am I out of line? What do you think? Okay, here's what I think. I do agree and know scripturally that the man the man is supposed to find the woman. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, not she who finds a husband. However, I see nothing wrong with positioning yourself to be found. And I think that is how we should use the internet. Um, we are living in a world of technology. The internet is how people are meeting and greeting. I met my prayer partner on Facebook. My prayer partner's husband found her on the internet and they have a great marriage seven years later. My boy met his fiance um, on the internet through uh, reading each other's status updates on Facebook. Like he would, they were friends, mutual friends. Like they didn't know each other directly and they would comment on, you know, other people's posts and he started reading her posts and you know, sent her an email and then that email led to phone calls and then the phone calls led to visits because he lived out of town and then the visit led to him proposing to her and then the visit led to him relocating and they're getting married in April. Something similar happened to me a couple of years ago. A guy from Atlanta was reading my status updates and he sent me an email along the same lines, you know, I like the way you think, I like what you write, I like what you post. Uh, and looking at your pictures, you're attractive, and so on and so forth. And so that led to emails, and the emails led to phone calls. And thanks to my discernment, I was able to exit that conversation before a face-to-face -face meeting. So it is what it is. It's the world that we live in, unfortunately, at times, because we don't, I don't know if we even talk to each other any anymore. I mean, with the tweeting and the texting and the Facebooking, I don't even think we're having face-to-face -face conversations. So be that as it may, I think that the internet is a great way to position yourself to be found and I think that I've done the internet and I, I know that it's a great way to meet men and it's a great way to get some going on dates practice from a place of going on a date, being you know in the presence of a man. I was out with a girlfriend of mine a couple of weeks ago and she said to me, she said, you know, Yvonne, you know, I'm so used to being with myself and doing everything by myself that when I go out with guys sometimes, I mean, I'm whipping out my car to pay the bill. I don't even know how to, you know, sit back and relax. So for her, she, you know, enjoys meeting men and eventually wants to meet someone. However, her time of going on dates, it's, it's practice for her. And not that she's using the guys, but this is her time to really, um, meet men and she said something that I know to be true it's given her clarity on the kind of man she wants to attract so, and she's using the internet as well so again use the internet as a way to position yourself to be found and use discernment because God if the man is for you if he's on the internet you will meet him on the internet and you will know that very clearly, but you gotta stay close to God. You gotta listen to him, you know, you gotta let him guide you through the process. But I see nothing wrong with positioning yourself to be found. And the internet is just a means of doing that. And fortunately or unfortunately, that's the world we live in. So all the best to you. And um, thanks for your question.